What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, another underwater video for you. Today we're going subsurface to look at bite placement and just some cool footage underwater. Today's video is coming from, uh, from inside. We got uh, bad weather, tornado warnings, all sorts of uh, severe thunderstorms. So uh, today, going through some footage, some underwater footage, and you guys know that Matt and I, we love underwater footage. There's so much to learn. Uh, the way your trolling motor sounds, the way the birds sound, maybe there's traffic or wind. Uh, bite placement, how these fish approach the different baits. Uh, are you working your bait too much? When do you set the hook? So today's video, got a couple questions for you. I want you to pay attention to the baits, the action, I'll link all the baits down below in the video description, the action of the trailers, if, the, if it's a jig, maybe it's just a Ned rig, uh, and then bite placement, and be thinking in your mind, if I was fishing that bait, when would I set the hook? And uh, we'll kind of we'll kind of talk about it at the end. Uh, some of the things that I saw, some of the things I learned, because I'm the one down there fishing and feeling this, and then getting to watch it after the fact. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Here we go. So cool underwater footage. As fishermen, there's so much to learn under the water. I mean, how fish camouflage down in the grass water clarity, how light refracts off the bottom, how there's just so much little, everything's alive, everything's moving. The current, even if you're in, a, you know, you don't have a river system, but you're in a lake, the grass is moving, there's always some sort of current. Just how cool it is to see fish interact with each other. You know, through these years, we've learned so much about fish and their personalities. And basically, every fish is different. They all have different personalities. They have baits they hate, baits they like, baits that scare them. Uh, and just watching them, how they interact with other, other fish. And it's always funny, too, when you put the camera down, which fish are going to come right up to the lens uh, and, and really nudge up and just look what's in their area. All right, this first bait, this is an X-Zone. Uh, this is the Adrenaline Craw coming through the grass. Man, that bait looks so good. Works awesome. It's rigged on a Texas rig here, but it works awesome on a wobblehead. You see that bite placement? Slow-mo underwater is so cool. Do it. Little subtle movements. Boom. So that's rigged on a Texas rig. That's right behind, that's, a, that's actually a 3 8 ounce tungsten, but right behind the weight. So when would you have set the hook? Look at the movement on those appendages. I threw this clip in there just to show you guys how awesome this thing swims and kicks on the movement. All right, you're jig fishing. Feel on the grass, feel on the wood. Dunk. You know those bites you're like, doot, 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 doot. was that a bluegill? Here we go in slow motion. Again, a jig is imitating a crawdad or a crayfish, right? They have their pinchers. And you'll notice a lot of these baits that have moving appendages, that's where they go. They go for the stuff that can hurt them first. All right, would you set right there? Little mush in the grass, dunk, dunk. So watching this, you'll learn a lot of times on a jig, they hit it and that's them just eating the pinchers and then a little bit later, you'll feel the thunk as they suck it in. Here we go in slow motion. That's the D-chunk by uh, Missile Baits. 
really cool uh, jig trailer. <laughs> In case you're wondering, the uh, laundry's done. So when would you have guys set the hook? Here we go, here's another one. Check this one out. Boom, 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 boom. Spits it out, sucks it back in. Can you imagine what that feels like on your rod? You're like, what was that? Are you there? Slow-mo. With the audio, you can hear these bites. You can feel these bites in your rod. You can hear it underwater. <laughs> Again, as a fisherman, so what I've learned on that jig, a lot of times you'll feel that initial dunk and you swing and you miss. If you feel that dunk, kind of lift up that rod tip and feel that resistance and you'll feel that second dunk. That's them sucking it in and that's when you can reel down and then set. <laughs> There's that mushy feeling. You're like, something's not right. What is going on with my jig right now? That trailer looks so awesome. right behind the hook. You guys, we've talked about this before, bite placement. These bass, they're so good at targeting, you know, on glide baits, they'll come up and just nip the back treble or just nip the belly treble. You know, they want to feel, they don't have hands, right? They want to feel, they're curious. They want to know what's going on. I think the eyeball's moving. Kunk, right on the pincers again. Ned rig, same type of deal. You feel that mush bite? You're like, hmm, something's not right. Tunk. Sucking that bait in. Give it a little bit of time as you feel that resistance. Sucks it right in. So cool. You guys noticing the stuff that's going on in the background of the underwater? You know, there's other fish swimming around, uh, grasses moving. Look at the fish back there. You don't realize how many fish are down there. You can't see above water. You know, a lot of times, uh, <laughs> just hanging on, playing tug of war with your jig trailer. You can't see a lot what's going on above the surface down there, but when you get that camera down there, I mean, look at all the sediment and stuff in the water. Everything is alive. Everything's moving. Imagine what that feels like. Another Ned. When would you set the hook? Dunk. Dunk. Initial bite, tick. You're like, oh, it feels mushy. Tick. Hmm. Kunk. Three bites right there. The other thing to pay attention to is the sound of that Ned rig hitting that tink, tink, tink. The, the tungsten heads on a Ned rig make so much more uh, noise than your, than your lead. A little bit of current there. Kunk, kunk. See everything moving in the background? Just popping this down the rocks, tick. Tick. Let it sit there. Pop it up, tick. Tick, hmm, tick. 
Heavy. Guys, underwater footage is amazing. You know, Matt and I, we try to put out some great content. It's, it's really hard to get fish that are willing to come in to the cameras. But as you can see, underwater footage there, it's a whole other world. It really is, guys. So much is going on down there. And as a fisherman, how do you learn from it? How do you apply what you're seeing underwater to the feel in your hand? How do you apply it to your fishing? Uh, the biggest thing is to slow down, give those fish a little bit of time to really get that bait. You know, I kind of think like big Texas rig or Carolina rig worms, right? When you feel that bite, give them some time to get that worm in their mouth. Same thought process, even with the jig or the Ned rig, you know, give them a little bit of time, feel that tick, check for that pressure, wait for that second tick and then reel down and set. But uh, guys, down below in the comment section, I wanna hear your thoughts. What are your thoughts on when you would set the hook? And how about some of those baits, those, those jig trailers, the action, so much movement, and just watching those fish uh, key in on the different appendages and, and just right behind the hook. You know, those fish are really good at, I've seen them full speed hitting baits with their mouth closed just to kill them, to stun them, and then coming around and eating. Uh, you know, they're really good. They're really accurate with that bite. That's all they got. So if you're throwing a bait, maybe you're throwing a big creature bait with a lot of appendages, give that a second or two, give them some time to really get that bait in so you can reel down and get a good hook set in those fish. But uh, again, underwater is alive. Everything's moving the way the light comes through. If it's slick, calm or windy, if it's cloudy, uh, how the light refracts, breaks that water surface and gets down to the bottom, how it looks on the grass, on the shell beds, on the rock. There's so many different little things to pay attention to and that's just a, a little sample of it. But uh, guys, stay safe. If you're down here in the south, stay safe for these storms. Uh, got some, some bad ones rolling through. But uh, underwater footage, we love doing it. So much to learn from it and we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give us a, a thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys on the next video.